Hey everyone, so in this video let's talk about tampons. We've seen a drastic increase in the usage of tampons and they've gotten very popular. But there's a lot more we need to know so let's dive in. So basically tampons are small cylindrical products made out of materials like cotton or rayon and are inserted inside the vagina to absorb menstrual bleeding. The fact that they're so comfortable and portable makes them very popular among the young women. But there's only one downside or problem with wearing a tampon is the risk of toxic shock syndrome. It's a very rare but a serious complication resulting from a bacterial infection. It's caused by a bacteria called Staphylococcus aureus which gets into the bloodstream and produces toxins. This can create a lot of serious complications. So why is this happening? So basically, when you wear a tampon or insert the tampon inside your body for a longer period of time without changing it often enough, it contributes to the growth of unwanted bacteria which leads to toxic shock syndrome. It is also associated with using super absorbent tampons. So some of the symptoms of toxic shock syndrome includes high fever, body aches, low blood pressure, rash, headache, fatigue, etc. So in order to reduce the risk of these side effects, make sure that you change your tampons frequently. Don't use one single tampon all night. Wash your hands before you insert the tampon inside your vagina. And also try to use the lowest absorbency tampon you can. You can also alternate between tampons and pad when your flow is light. Additionally, you can also switch to organic tampons because uh, these tampons, they come in very close contact with our bodies. So we don't want any un unwanted pesticides or ke chemicals to come in contact with our bodies because these pesticides and chemicals, they can actually disturb your hormone function. So it's always a good idea to switch to organic tampons. They're not just good for your body, they're also environment friendly. Also, make sure to change your tampons every four to eight hours. I hope uh, these tips were helpful and make sure that uh, you take all the necessary precautions and I'll see you in the next video. Also, please don't forget to subscribe.